them out there. Out there, and sometimes even in God's will, you run into trouble. Doing God's will, doing everything God say, trouble still shows up. <laughs> Ain't that something? He sent them and they went. And as they went, they ran into a storm. And the thing is, is that they say it, the ship was in the midst of the sea, tossed with a wave, and the wind was contrary. Whatever God sends us to do, that's always something that's going to come contrary. We, we have to always remember there's something going to come that's going to try to stop us, that's going to try to change us, going to try to get us to quit. I'm going to tell you something. There are things that the devil has brought to me. I Sometimes I've said, Lord, what the use? But then there's something inside of me saying you can. You can make it. You don't have to give up. We can have sometimes some disappointing situations happen in our lives, and we know that we are in God's will. I'm praying. I'm reading your word. I'm walking according to your word. And yet in walking according to his word, there still is a storm coming up against me. There still is something contrary coming up against me. So just being in God's will does not eliminate the storm. It does not eliminate problems coming in your life. But the thing is, you can deal a whole lot better in his will against a storm than being out of his will trying to face it by yourself. But brother, when they were, whatever coming against me, if I got Jesus on board, I feel good. Whatever's happening in my life, <coughs> I got Jesus on board, I feel comfortable. I feel at peace. <laughs> and the Bible said that in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, it is a spirit. And he cried out for fear. One thing I want you to see <coughs> is this. It's wherever you are. In life, Jesus is watching you. He know right where you are. Now, they, they was three miles out there. He was on land. And he knew where they were. And he knew exactly what was going on at the time. And, and sometimes you think God don't know where you stand. And he don't know where you are at. But he know. So I'm going to tell you something. He's praying for you when you ain't praying for yourself. He's calling up things to God for you that you won't call up for yourself. And then while he's up there praying, because he wasn't just praying for himself, he was praying for them. Because he know he had gave them a commandment. He knew the devil was going to come against them, but I was hoping that they'll hold out. Don't give up. Just stand in the fight. And the Bible said that when the fourth watch of the night came, here come Jesus walking on the water. I'm here to tell you this here too. God ain't going to step in until you've done everything that he's given you the power and authority to use. Because until you use everything God has given you to use, God said, I'm going to step back. See, I done gave you power. See, I done gave you joy. See, I done gave you peace. See, I done gave you my word. I'm just going to step back and see until you've used it all, until you've done everything you know to do, and you still find yourself in a problem. Then God said, well, now, he done used all his thoughts up. He done used his whole imagination, everything he could dream up. He done used it, and it didn't work for him. Now, when he call on God, then God said, now I'll step in. Why do God wait some time for us? Why let us pray and he just wait? Why do God hold back? Seems like he should come now. They getting ready to throw me into the furnace and it looked like he should show up now, but he'll just wait. Sometime the Lazarus, he was sick and you could have made it there before he died, but he'll just wait. Two more days. There's a reason why he's waiting. He's trying to wait you out of all your method and all your solutions and all the things that you count on to bring you out. Because if he gonna get some glory, you're gonna have to know I couldn't do it. You're gonna have to come to the conclusion as far as I'm concerned it was over. As far as I'm concerned, I know I couldn't get myself out of this. As far as I'm concerned, I did everything I know possible to do and nothing worked. When you realize that, then God say no. Now it's time for me to step in. They had already been fishermen. They had already known how to work through storms. But now they had got themselves caught up in a storm. And they don't know how or what. Things are going against them. And then the Lord come 
in a way that they didn't expect him. And that's another thing. You need to look for God everywhere. Not just a certain way. God can show up in any way. Sometimes you don't know how your deliverance is going to come. But God will sit in a way that you probably never imagined. Can you think of anybody on that boat who...